What's going on, everybody? Lambo here. Today, I am answering a question from Mark. He's a patron, and uh, he had a question about snow. So uh, his question was, morning, dude. I was just wondering if you had any idea how to get a snow mesh on the roof. Uh, congratulations on submitting mods, Mark. I'm super happy to hear about other modders out there taking the step. I hate submitting stuff to Giants, and I actually never have. So I'm probably the completely wrong person to ask for help on this. But I wanted to show you the little knowledge that I do have on this. So let's take a look at some in-game stuff. I always recommend you don't look at other modder stuff. Look at the stuff a Giant puts out. And if somebody comes out with something cool, like a winch strip, say, you know, look at that. But this is pretty simple. I have a shed open. I'm, I already found the winter in here and the snow. Now, there's nothing really fancy that I see right off the bat in the user attributes. If you don't know how to open up user attributes, go to, to window, user attributes. Any kind of special code, stuff like that, strings, floats, you can inject stuff change stuff if there is stuff assigned sometimes it'll show right there um this is just how you kind of figure out how stuff works so nothing funky over there now let's click on the snow and first thing i notice that it has textures it says it's a snow mat snow diffused snow specular and the snow normal now you can make your own snow right basically using the in-game stuff you just track down these textures and you assign it um, and then here snow heap shader so it looks like it uses these textures and whatnot with this shader and then we're going to jump up here to visibility condition and this is weather mask hex so when the weather is within this range when the game thinks that it's snowing. That's obviously what 400 means. Otherwise, they wouldn't have it marked as snow, right? Then it will show. And this is actually, they use this visibility condition for lights as well. You can, uh, I don't know everything. I'd have to write it all down. But there's numbers that equal a certain time of day. And there's numbers that equal a weather required mask. Maybe I'll go through and dink around and really write all these out but i haven't done an in-depth on it i'm just giving you a little crisper on how it works so for winter time it's going to be 400. now the biggest thing that i'm not sure about and we're going to try to test right now is if this has to be uv masked uv mapped to a certain location if you don't know what uv mapping is every one of these little faces these little tri triangles these are called faces are mapped to a certain section on this texture you can't see it darn you giants i hate that they changed that on the texture so it it's just telling the game what image where you want to display it whatnot so it probably needs to be uv mapped and on top of that there is two different you can have a second uv, UV map which a lot of times it'll tell us it'll give this this text cord error thing so what we're going to do is refresh our memory snow heap shader okay and i actually want to add snow to this so this is where we're going to find out right now if it requires so i don't have a pretty thing of snow you could probably make one in something like blender just round the edges out bevel them out but for right now i'm just going to put some just a block of snow up here to see if we can assign it snow. Visibility conditions, weather mask, what was that, 400? Okay, and to recap where the snow textures are. Burp. Oh, wrong one snow diffused so it's inside the shared folder we'll just go down to snow okay now it should be able to make these show up i'm just going to assign all these textures here uh this is the gloss snow now 
And now we gotta assign the normal snow. Man. Anybody else's eyes just going out on them? I'm getting old now. Snow normal. Okay. Okay, so it's going to give you this tangent warning if you're making your own using the cube. All this is, is you go to doo -doo -doo -doo, shape, and we're going to want it to cast and receive the map, probably distance blending, and tangents. Tangents allows you the ability to assign a normal map to it. Uh, if you don't have that clicked, it'll make all the items in your scene that have that same material uh invisible until you click it so as of right now i'm just gonna un unhide it and then i'm gonna shape this out to the roof here you don't need to watch me do that and there really shouldn't be anything extra besides putting it inside of uh, my mod folder here or inside of the scenograph of it so we're just gonna write snow and and then I'll go in game and try to make it snow. If it snows and shows up, then great. We did it. If it doesn't, then we dinked up. And as a kicker, you know what I should do just to, this is how, you know, I could show you quickly how to do it. And then also I could show you what I would do to figure out exactly what it is I'm making is I'm going to, export out their snow and put it inside of uh and in, inside of here all right sounds good okay what i've done here is i imported in some stock snow right so i shouldn't have to really do anything it's already got the shader it's already got everything, the colors. So up here, I do still have to apply the snow shader. So let's go track that down right now. Somewhere in the steamy clouds, we will find it. All right, so this was the moment of truth when I told you we would find out if there was going to be extra things you needed to do. And it looks like you need to paint it inside of a 3d program i'm gonna assume because there is no vertex attributes so i'm gonna try to do that and be right back all right so i have exported both of the shapes into blender you probably have a newer blender program that's because i'm old school and i refuse to let go of 2.79 Pretty much what I got here, guys, is let's take a look at the UV mapping for the stock snow. And it's massive. It's not really UV mapped. It's really set for the texture. When you, when you see it like this, they were just intending to use it with the texture. So we could apply the snow right now and see what that looks like. All right, got the snow textured applied. You can see it. And we don't have any texture on this one. So it is UV unwrapped. And that possibly could be the issue why we were having uh, the issue where I got the color error. So I'm going to export that out. We're going to do baby steps. Check it. See if that fixed it. If that didn't fix it, export it back in. Do something else. Check it. And that way we can figure out exactly what it is we need to do and not just do a bunch of things and just guess which one it was that fixed it. Because I really don't know how to do snow. So we're learning today. Since they made their UV map really big, I'm just going to make mine really big. And since we're here, it's probably too late now. You should probably make these uh, snow things in Blender or in your software you like. Because then you can uh, actually do this. Because see, when I imported it in, it has all the faces edge splitted. Edge split? It split it's probably not a word but you get what i'm saying so we should probably just remake that but uh for right now let's continue on with what i said let's export this back in and see if we get that error and just to verify that it does not work if you do not do something else so it's already uv mapped 
got that taken care of. So we, I think I have one more idea we can do here. Let's try it. There's this thing called Vertex Paint. And basically, uh, it, yeah. Uh, it's used in a lot of times with the characters when they're running uh, in first-person shooters, bending, uh, also a, like a fish swimming, stuff like that. It, and I'm imagining they're using this for the snow. So as it builds up... It can do small sections of it at a time and not just be full right off the bat. But this is all just speculation. I wish I had somebody to teach me how to do this. I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows how to do snow just like a pro. But listen, this is where we're at, my man. And this is where we're at. And we shall keep trying until we get the bad boy done. All right, so I got it in here. I got all the textures assigned. This is my new thingy-majiggy i'll show you everything i've clicked here cast receive tangents distance blending visibility conditions so we're going to use use parent oh no we're not going to use parent we're going to do 400 i'm going to beat this into your head everything we got to do okay and then let's just compare it to the stock one that's all the same go shape click on shape it's all pretty much the same uh, it's not a rigid body. I got clip distance of 120. That's how far it can be seen. Same thing. Okay. So I don't see any issues. I'm going to hit save, load it up in game, and see if that worked. All right. So now we basically just wait it out. I'm going to wait for these bad boys to spawn me some snow. I guess there's a bot out there to do it quicker, but... I'd rather sit here and do it unrealistically in a stealth fighter that acts like a Harrier. All right, we're going to fast forward, see if all those little changes work, and then I can explain to you exactly how to do it. Seriously, just snow already. It's December. Come on. Where's the snowflakes? Pretty sure we're going to make it through December with zero snow. And it'll probably snow in January. Even in video games, they're trying to get you on this climate control. Holy cow, gentlemen. You have no idea how long that took to load. All right. So, successfully, it worked. Um, I must not have it placed. Oh, it's because I didn't zero out the scaling. Uh, inside GE, but my snow worked. My snow popped up. It showed up just the same as that one over there. I made another placeable. And this one didn't get enough snow to show up. Oh, it did. I just have it low. So that's the stock one. It looks like I just have it inside the, the placeable. Because I didn't zero out. So if you're going to stretch them and scale them, make sure that you have this zeroed out oh that's not the one i edited but just make sure inside here your giant's editor your scale your y and your z are all zeroed out and then you'll have to play with it on your mod to try to fit them because this one shows that it's clearly up there but uh we'll go like this thing is huge it's probably way outside what i need it to be but my snow does work. I would recommend going into Blender and whatnot and design up with, you know, uh, bevel and what I spoke about earlier. But, and then I will make a faster video probably one day on how to do this. But thank you for joining me on this great adventure. If we would have learned that and showed you within two minutes, couldn't have had anything that youtube would have been like hey we like that video so thanks for watching hit the like button and mark i hope this answers your question a little bit on what you can do it needs to be uv mapped and go through and paint the vertices like you would if it was a light hit that like button if you want to qu ask a question jump on over to patreon where you could easily message me on there you guys have a good rest of your day